Welcome back to Let's Play Yakuza 0. I'm Burning Dog Face, and last time, uh, when I wasn't <laughs> racing tiny, tiny cars, I was, uh, picking up a hint that, uh, yes, of course I'll save. Are you insane? What was I saying? Yes. I picked up a hint that I should talk to uh, one of Tachibana's uh, businesses. Or at least one of the businesses they've uh, bought out or paid off. You know, I didn't think it would be that easy. What the hell is that? There it is, it's right bumper. Oh, that's where I was going to meet that, uh... The dude who I learned Rush style by watching. I don't remember his name, sadly. In my defense, there's kind of a lot going on in this game. God damn it. Now I need to check it out! Oh, oh, you can also zoom in with the right stick. That's very helpful. Except that up is uh, zoom out. W what do you mean, Little Asia? This is a district of J Tokyo. That's about as Asia as it gets. If it was Little India or uh, America Town, I would understand that, but... Shout out to Torek00, by the way, who uh, linked to a very interesting article from 2010, where someone sat down a bunch of real-life Yakuza and uh, had them play the game Yakuza 3 to see how accurate the series is. I didn't really go into too much detail because... Well, it's Yakuza 3. That's, uh... Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Oh. Buddy, do you mind? You're really cramping my style here. Yeah, could have done that much easier. Eat a dick. This is happening. What? What? Why is there a cutscene here? It's the middle of the street. Holy shit, dude. Is that your real hair? I thought the only person with hair like that was uh, the king of all cosmos. Dropping fucking Katamari Damacy references in the middle of this. As if this wasn't Japanese enough. Like, that sort of indefinable quality that people seem to ascribe to Japan, that it is, you know, soaked in weirdness. If you were able to extract that and distill it into a pure form, you would end up with Katamari Damacy. Are you having, like, an identity crisis or something? Nani?
Well, that happened. I was starting to say before a whole bunch of weird shit happened. Uh, me reading you know, pretty much anything about Yakuza 3 while I'm playing Yakuza 0 would be like uh, if you just started playing Halo 1 and you started reading stuff about Halo 4. Like, this is a prequel. Pretty much anything you read about the franchise is going to be a spoiler at this point. Uh, can I not? Oh, fuck it. I'm going to just rotate the camera here and point out that that purple bill billboard in the background is advertising a dinning bar. Okay. Since I have no idea where to go, I might as well look into uh, our friend the fisting artist. Unless I could find that uh, <laughs> theater again. What's this? Nothing. Fat load of nothing. Yeah, that's where that was. Park Boulevard. Okay. It's really weird to me that the uh, affairs are so cheap. Oh, oh, oh shit, we're birds and we need to get out of here. Fun fact, that describes the mentality of birds at all times. Not just in Kazuma Kiryu is running it at them. Gross. All I see in that one is... Uh, Stalls, so I assume that's the ladies' room. See some... I guess they're hooligans over there, so... Where am I actually going? That's right, I got totally distracted by my own ridiculousness. Oh, my bad. Actually, no, let's go this way and, uh... Save before we, uh... It's going to be a real problem with me pressing that B button. God damn it, Nintendo. I thought it was going to be a problem when I was playing Hitman a while back, and uh, the run button was different. Hmm? Technically, you're supposed to remove the second S from, uh... When you put a possessive apostrophe on a name that already ends with S. But, you know, fuck it, this is a translation of a Japanese game by a character who probably doesn't speak English, so... Screw it. If you hit the challenger, you also lose? What the fuck does that mean? Mm. Oh, if it's, uh, I would be the guy that people would be wailing on. It's not try to knock down Komoji. There's a weird plural thing. I don't know what's up with that.
You know, there is a certain logic to that. I was just going to say, I have no memory of such a thing. But then that guy does talk very strangely, so maybe I missed it. <sighs> He's dressed really well for a homeless guy. I mean, I thought that was just the, uh, when, uh, that random tough called Bacchus and Komoji homeless people, I just thought he was insulting them. I mean, he's got a nice button-up shirt and, uh, tucked into his pants. French coat, you know. A belt that doesn't look four million years old. You can always tell because the leather gets bunched up around where it, the guy traditionally leaves it. to make sure you was covered. Oh. So I just dodge everything, is that it? Guess there's no real faster way to do this, huh? I don't feel good about taking punches without throwing the back, but it's a way to learn. People pay for this? That... I just saw something weird happen with the rendering on Komoji there, but I don't know what it was. I guess you guys can rewind. Uh. Yeah, sure, what the hell. I'm really shit at dodging anyway, so maybe this will help. I think San is the basically the default honorific. It's what you attach to someone's name if you don't know them, or if you're just like co-workers or something. Just saying someone's name without an honorific is itself an indication of uh, a closeness. Like something you would reserve for your best friend or your lover. Or, you know, like a particularly close family member or something. I don't know. Like I said, I have a vague idea of these things, but uh, for all I know, I'm talking out my ass without realizing it. If that's the case, the mic's in the wrong spot. Um. Sorry, I'm just kind of distracted by all of the uh, Japanese man with bowie hair in the background. Jesus Christ, dude, it's the middle of the day. annoyed. This is actually super difficult. Mm -hmm. Oh 
Oh yeah. Alrighty, did he just say alrighty, let's fighty? I'm over here now. Oh, oh. This is what they had in mind. Come on. Thank you. Hi. <laughs> uh. Okay. Hey, thank you. Mm. That seems uh, surprisingly fair for the guy's apprentice. savings at the moment. I was kind of hoping that I would go around the corner and Mr. Shakedown would be there, because the timing would just be perfect. It's like, oh, well, in that case, I'll just head back over to the machine. For a parking lot, there's really nothing here. And I go in there. The Fun-looking door. Alas. What are you, Dan Dan Burger? Oh, sadly, all these motorcycles are in the way. Where the fuck is actually going? Uh... All right, I have to know. Like, depending on how accurate that description is, I might have to jump cut past it and then never go back. I oh, don't know. Yeah, fuck it, I'm right here. Or not. Shit. I'm not getting paid not to punch you. Oh, nice. In the face. School kids. Oh, Jesus Christ. Wait. As you meet these women out in the city, under certain conditions, new video content will become available. 
You know, someone actually said in the comments that, uh, something with this game being full of Japanese porn stars? It was uninvited haggis! See, it said new video content will become available, which made me assume there was some sort of default level. But I guess uh, we can't watch anything there yet because we haven't. Hey, one more time. <laughs> we haven't met the girls in the videos yet. I guess. Oh. Hmm. Tell you what. Since the timer did just go, I'm just going to sign off and start off with this guy next time. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on Let's Play Yakuza 0. Later.